Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria, if you're new here. I am a daughter of the Most High God. I'm just going to put that out there. Today has been, this week has been, sorry guys, I apologize if you saw um, my bra. So, I'm going to leave that in there. That is a real thing. So, yes, back to that. Today is Wednesday. Um, October 20, no wait, 18th, no wait, it's actually Thursday the 19th, sorry, it's Thursday the 19th, I think it's like 3 p.m., and I have been doing my Bible study book called Garden by Delight Ministries, and Delight Ministries is a college group that I go to on Thursday nights at um, my college, Kennesaw State University in Kennesaw, Georgia. I mean, anybody could be there, so if you want to hang out, um, but this group is just for girls, women, and I just wanted to give y'all a couple points because I feel like some people need some kindness, and then I also use this that I got from a group on campus in my Bible, so first thing, guys, is you're going to want to turn, if you have the book, um, go, we're on chapter 6, page 92, let me find the book, so basically this week was about kindness authentic kindness um, kindness is love in action I'm going to give y'all a summary I'm not going to tell y'all everything because that would take probably another 45 minutes and nobody wants it so so here's a question to start off with if you want to like think through this with me or um, just type in the comments if it's nothing personal like just write a little answer so Describe someone you know who's really kind and what makes them that way. So I said, oh, I actually just said when somebody invites me over or invites me to an event. Um, so that's what I do a lot of times. I do it for my friends. I just, I say, you want to come over? You want to hang out? Um, for friends that are about maybe 15, 20 minutes away from me, I will pick them up. Another point um, that... Well, for the first point, is kindness is selfless like, kindness is selfless like Jesus. It's basically acting like Jesus. So, um, I read some verses. Um, one of the verses they gave was Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Um, I'm going to read it. Um, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself yourselves not looking to your own interest but each of you to the interest of the others so and it also said that we live in a me first age which means we're constantly told to love ourselves first and to girl boss our way um to the top and so that's where we need um the, it says the every little spark of selflessness fans the generation changing flame of the power of jesus's kindness so the next point they said was, um, your motivation matters. So, and then it said, here's a hot take for you. We're all people pleasers. Maybe you don't describe yourself like that way, or you don't struggle with it as much as others, but we all have that desire inside of us to be liked and to feel needed. So, and then the verse they gave was, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for God human masters Colossians 3:23 and it says that the bible says that no one can serve two masters and god calls us to do everything for him and his glory so if you are new to your faith or you don't even go to church or anything i am not a bible expert i do have three bibles though <laughs> and that's because i asked for a third bible for my birthday after my pastor gave me a bible when i graduated but God is our Father. He is the Son and the Holy Spirit. It's the Trinity. And so, once you believe in Jesus, um, that gives you a way to, to talk to God. And the Holy Spirit is in the Trinity. Comment down below if I'm incorrect. I, that's just what I think and what I know. <laughs> but if I'm incorrect, please comment. I mean, I think I'm correct. So, but yeah, basically, when you serve god you should not be serving anybody else um and so that's just 
the answer. It's in the Bible. It's like, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, everything. So another question is, it had in the book, all of this is in the book. I'm just adding some information. Um, do you ever find yourself doing the right thing for the wrong reasons? Describe it, what it feels like. So I'm going to give an answer because this is my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to be full out clear with y'all because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This video is just going to go to people and it's a Christian video. So if you're not a Christian, go ahead and click off. I mean, by now you should know this is about the Bible. Sorry, God, guys, I have a whole bunch of pins on my desk that I was using. <laughs> yeah, get some flare pins if you have a Bible, if you like to write in your Bible. Um, just a second. I'm going to clean up. Um, I'll just cut this out. It doesn't matter. And I will also do a little update at the end of my video. For you guys who don't know, I have a little blog. And I'm probably going to be post, like, not a vlog. I have an actual, like, page that I made. And I can post that down below for anybody. I really don't know who watches my channel. I know my, some of my family does. Some of my friends, probably. I have a lot of videos of my friends who lived in Texas, so. That'll be cool. So I am currently, okay, back to my talk about God, my friend, Lord. Okay, so yeah, get your Bible. I was talking about, okay, I'm sorry, I should have cleaned up before the video, but see, people pleasing, whoever's watching, I just apologized. <laughs> I am definitely one of the most I'm sorry person ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very accurate. I'm trying to get this. Okay. It's a, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> See, that's what I'm keeping in the video because that just shows I'm working on myself. And other YouTubers be like, cut, 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 cut. And I'm like. Mm -mm. You can laugh at me. You can laugh. Okay. So the question... Oh, I was explaining my question. Okay. Well, I said that sometimes... Okay, do you ever find yourself doing the right thing for the wrong reasons? Describe what it feels like. So I said, sometimes it does feel bad because the situation could just come naturally. Like, some things just have a natural answer. Some things you have to wait on, which is what I'm working on. And that's why I might I might be doing videos about, like, things that people want to know, but nobody can teach them. So, you know, if you have anything you want to learn and nobody's teaching it to you, I can maybe do a video on, like, Googling it and try to teach y'all or whoever, if it's a whole group of people. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so basically the next thing was, it was a story that they have in the book about a college girl, um, and she talked about, like, she was, okay, the story, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of tired now, I've read this whole thing, so I don't know how to summarize it, but basically the girl's in college because we're in college so they write these stories about people and she like got drunk and she would smoke and do not godly behaviors but then she realized like that she needed to show Jesus because she was a Christian and so showing kindness is one of the ways um, that she could show Jesus to others so the verse was Luke 10 27 he answered love the Lord your God with all your heart with your with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself which love your neighbor as yourself is the 
second commandment. The first commandment is follow the Lord your God. I'm pretty sure something like love the Lord your God. Um, and so there was a couple questions at the end, but and I answered those. But if y'all want to hear about week seven, comment down below. And we're doing the fruits of the spirit. And you can even go online and, like, get these books on Delight Ministries. I think it's Delight Ministries. It's not cut off for just college people, but it's specifically made for college girls. So, next week is called The Goodness That God Sees. Then we have week 8, which is Faithful. And week 9, if I can find it. I just skipped nine. Nine is a gentle God. And week ten is the fruit of self-control. And I don't know if there's a week eleven. I just... Oh, okay, no. There's only ten weeks. And then we have a little yearbook page. Sorry if my face looked weird. Um, for whoever's watching. But this is the book. If you want to go. I don't have a discount. This is not even. I just wanted to make a video. It's not sponsored. But I'm going to give y'all a little um, update on my life. Because, you know, I have friends. I don't know who watches my channel. I haven't been on for a while. And I made some big decisions. So, one. I have a blog. It is, I think, like. I don't know, victoriabrown.strikingly.com. I can, I'll put it um, in the description. Number two, I am still in college. I am, as I said, at Kennesaw State University. I don't really care because so many people on YouTube, they comment like they're college and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure nobody's coming to look for a short, uh, and ch Christian girl in Delight Ministries. No guy. Um, <laughs> because there's no guys in our group, so. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm in college and I'm about to be done with my classes in December, which will be here so fast. Um... I don't know. I am. Oh, I'm also doing this Bible study at my church called Abide by Jen Wilkin. So if you're Jen Wilkin, sponsor our church, Cross Street Church, Marietta. <laughs> so yeah. Um, had my birthday um, on September 29th, which was <laughs> basically almost going to be a month in like two weeks. Um, but I'm 21 and I'm looking older, I think. I think my hair making me look older in my outfits. Um, I'll show you the OOTD outfit of the day. Shirt, I think it's from Kohl's or JCPenney. Jeans, um, I think Kohl's also. Uh, my hair, just a little hair bow, did a little bun. Um, bag is lounge fly, cause I didn't wanna take my big bag again and wear my purse. We're in a water bottle and garden book. <laughs> I'm just picking things up. Um, and my actual rowing bag is from Vera Bradley. So, guys, um, and it's heavy, so I don't want to pick it up. But having a really good day, Lord. The Lord is coming through. And this is my big chair <laughs> that my mom got me. Um, something that I got for my birthday. I can show y'all. I never did like a haul because I had so many bags and I had so many things. But this is a bracelet. Not exactly. It's kind of thick. Oh, and it has a little heart. It's cold. <laughs> it's cute. I think I want to wear it. But I don't want to get it dirty. So it says, You have grown into an amazing young woman. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem. 
smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. That's nice. That's cute. So, this video is about 15 minutes. I don't want to make y'all wait any longer because um, it's been a very good time with you, whoever you are. I hope you're having a great day. Um, and I gave you some kindness, like my book talked about. Sorry, I just like my hair like this. That's why I'm touching it a lot. And I've got nothing else to do today except go to the light. So, yeah, I got, uh, sorry, I got a text. <laughs> so, I'm going to do some homework, then go to, um, go to my group tonight. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye, hope you're having a great weekend or a great day.